Top 10 Most Beautiful Places in Namibia With breathtaking landscapes, beautiful desolate desert scenery and an abundance of wildlife, Namibia is a destination that will surely stun and inspire any visitor. Often overlooked in comparison to Kenya and neighboring South Africa, the country is well worth visiting for its amazing landscapes and national parks. A land of natural beauty, there are a multitude of incredible sights to see and tourists will quickly find themselves enamored with stunning scenery on shore. From trekking through the canyons to driving through the national parks in Namibia and gazing out of the Namib desert, this diverse and awe-inspiring country is sure and to enthrall you. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Ultimate Survivor Africa. This is the channel that talks about things that takes place in Africa. We talk about the current affairs, we talk about the celebrities, tourism and tourist destinations, we talk about nature and conservation and everything that happens in Africa. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and activating the bell icon so that you don't miss our future videos. And please, the thumbs up, the likes will help our channel to grow and also don't forget to share our videos and channel with those who love to learn things about Africa. Enjoy watching the video. Number 1. Etosha National Park The Etosha National Park is centered around the vast Etosha salt pan. The pan itself is usually dry and only fills with water briefly in the summer, but is enough to stimulate the growth of the blue-green algae, which lures thousands of flamingos. Most of the wildlife, including heads of zebra, wildebeest, and antelope, can be seen around the water walls that border the pan. Etosha is served by three well-established rest camps and offers a great self-drive safari experience. Number 2. Fish River Canyon The Fish River Canyon in southern Namibia is second only in grandeur to the Grand Canyon in Arizona. It is absolutely magnificent and breathtaking in its immensity. The canyon features a gigantic ravine in total about 160 kilometers or 100 miles long up to 27 kilometers wide and in some places almost 550 meters deep. Because the fish river is being dammed, it only contains a small amount of running water. Number 3. Susus Flay Located in the Namib Desert, Susus Flay is an enormous clay pan surrounded by the gigantic red sand dunes. The Tau Chab River flows through the desert and its rare flooding waters the vegetation that survives in the clay soil. During sunrise and sunset, the colors of the sand dunes are constantly changing and provide an opportunity for photographers. The fierce desert winds continually alter the shape and the texture of the dunes, providing an ever-changing desert landscape. Number 4. Cape Cross Situated 120 kilometers north of Sokop Mound, Cape Cross is warm to one of the largest colonies of the Cape Fair Seals in the world. The surrounding area was proclaimed a reserve in 1968 to protect the biggest and the best known of the 23 colonies of the Cape Fair Seals which breed along the coast of South Africa and Namibia. During the November and December breeding season, as many as 150,000 seals gather at the Cape Cross. The name refers to the large stone cross erected by the Portuguese explorers in the 15th century. Number 5. Sokop Mond Sokop Mond is Namibia's biggest coastal town and popular beach resort for Namibians on holiday. The city's German origins are quite pronounced in beautiful old German colonial buildings throughout the city, making a stark contrast in the Namib desert at the edge of the town. The nearby sand dunes provide several activities such as sandboarding, horse riding, and quad biking, while the beaches of Sok of Moen provide plenty of safe and sand. Number 6. Speedscop. Nicknamed the Meta Horn of Namibia, the Speedscop is a group of the bald granite peaks in the Namib Desert. The highest peak stands out about 700 meters, which is 2,300 feet above the flat desert floor. The granite massif was created by the collapse of the gigantic volcano more than 100 million years ago and the subsequent erosion exposed the volcanic rock. Attractions include the bizarre rock 
formations and the several scenes of Richmond paintings found in the various places. Number 7. Caprivi Strip The Caprivi Strip is a narrow strip of land between Botswana on the south, Angola and Zambia to the north, and Namibia's Okavango region to the west. The Caprivi is the wettest region in Namibia with a high rainfall and a number of major rivers like the Okavango, Pando and the Zambezi. The abundance of water sustains a large variety of animals including a large population of elephants. The wildlife is being protected in four reserves. These are no fences and however, the animals can roam around freely across the borders of the neighboring countries. Number 8. Skeleton Coast The Skeleton Coast is the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean coast in Namibia. Dense fogs, mighty storms and violent safe caused many ships in the past to run aground along the Skeleton Coast and the desolate coastline has become known as the world's biggest ship graveyard. Those who were shipwrecked and managed to swim through the heavy safe and reach the coast still have to face the waterless, hostile coastal desert. The coast north of the Torres Bay, which is dominated by the high sand dunes, is the most attractive stretch of this skeleton's coast. Number 9. Twyfel Fountain Located in the western Namibia, Twyfel Fountain contains one of the largest concentration of rock engravings in Africa. Most of the carvings were created over 6,000 years ago by the ancient Bushmen. The carvings were made by cutting through the hard surface layer of sandstone and represent animals such as rhinoceros, elephants, ostriches and giraffes as well as the depictions of the human and animal footprints. Number 10. Kormanskop Kormanskop is a coast town in Namib Desert a few kilometers from the port town of Ludwigs. Lots of Germans settled in this area after a diamond was found in 1908. Driven by the enormous wealth of the first diamond miners, the residents built Kormanskop in the architectural style of German town, with amenities and institutions including hospitals, ballroom, school, casino as well as the first tram in Africa. The town declined when the diamond field slowly existed and was ultimately abandoned in 1954. The forces of the desert mean that tourists now walk through the houses knee-deep in sand. That was it for today guys. If you enjoyed this content, please give us the thumbs up, the like. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and activating the bell icon so that you don't miss our future videos. We do these videos each and every day and we bring the information from Africa. So guys, if you love to learn things about Africa, this is your best channel to follow. And don't forget to share it with the friends and family. See you in the next video.